Hi everybody, Susan with the Withered Barn here in Homedale, Idaho. And after my live today, what is today? I don't remember, Thursday. <laughs> um, a lot of people were asking about the molds that I put on the trim of the sewing cabinet that I'm transforming. And this is them. It's one of the older IOD, Iron Orchids Designs decor molds. And I used this one right here. Now, unfortunately, they're not making these anymore, but there are some additional mold strips on the newer molds that they put out um, for 2018. But I wanted to show you how I made these. I usually use paper clay, but because I needed to make them ahead of time, I went ahead and used the two-part uh, resin, which is this one right here, Amazing Casting Resin. And I carry this here at the barn um, and online at www.thewitheredbarn.com. Right here. It has the full instructions and everything on it. And um, this box is, how big is this? Two 10 ounce bottles? I think so. So it comes with everything right here that you see. Everything you need. So I think these are 10 ounce bottles. Nope, eight ounce bottles. So it comes with these two eight ounce bottles of two part um, resin. I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. I ran out, I need three more pieces for my project, so I thought why not show you guys. So I've got my cups out here, and I'm gonna use equal parts. This one right here, this two 10 ounce bottles, made, so, uh, already I made 22 of these strips. So that's quite a few. These are these are kind of how big are these? Like eight inches, I think. Well, yeah, it's about eight inches. So uh, here's the first step. Oh, I've got one extra cup. There we go. First step. I'm gonna e mix equal parts. And don't ask me why, but I always go clear on the left, yellow on the right, and I do the same thing with my cups. Clear on the left yellow on the right, and then I'm gonna mix them in a clear mixing cup for you so you can see the process. So let me open up the clear first. There we go. The clear, oh, I need to scoot this back. There we go. Let's see if it stays. Oh. Uh, I've weakened my twisty thingy to hold this up, so hopefully it doesn't fall down. If it does, I apologize. We'll get it fixed in a minute, but maybe you can see more if I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to open the yellow now. I'm sure there's a technical name for these two resins. but So this is the, the way I'm going to do them. Equal parts, clear, equal part, yellow. And I always say this in my head just to keep them straight because your cups will start to get hard if you mix them. So I'm pouring the clear in first. And then the yellow, so watch. Can you see this? So now I'm going to pour in the yellow, and you're going to see it's going to look kind of cloudy. I'm going to take my popsicle stick and start mixing. It's now white. I need it to go clear again, and then it's ready to pour. Right before your eyes, it turns clear. And that means it's mixed, ready to go. So now I'm going to carefully pour it straight into my mold. I don't need to do any prepping. Just don't go over your edges. And all I'm doing with my popsicle stick is kind of pushing it in to all these little detailed grooves.
Okay, that one's done. And you're gonna see as it starts to process and cure, it's gonna turn white. And I would normally not have you sit on a video watching that, but it is kind of cool. So I'm gonna leave it taping. So those two little tiny cups is enough to do two of these full strips. I may actually have more left over. Nope, perfect. So I'm gonna kind of wiggle this around so that it fills in my, whoop, I went over. That's okay, I'll sand that off. Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side because it's gonna stick to everything and let you guys watch this process. I can already see this one's turning white around the edges. It'll take about 10 minutes. Let me see, is that what it says on the box, 10 minutes? Yeah, approximately 10 minutes. I, I don't know firsthand if you can like speed the process up by putting air on it. I don't know. Maybe not. But once it's completely white, we can just peel it right out of the mold. So I'm gonna let you guys watch that a minute. See if I can slide my camera over without having it fall. Ooh, it's really turning white. See there? Oh, it is gonna fall. I'll just let it go. Like we need, um, what's that music? Jeopardy. Do, 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 do. You guys can sing it in your head. But really, for the result you get, this isn't long at all. And I'm wondering if I missed. Nope, it's clear right there. Let me get my iced tea while I was while we're waiting, check my bowls on my piece, make sure they didn't slide. They're looking pretty good. Okay. But this is what I did for the first 22 molds. And I only have two of these molds. So I'd pour two, wait for cure, peel them out. Pour two, wait for cure, peel them out. So it took me an entire day. <laughs> but the results are stunning and beautiful. Once you get them painted and a little bit of a embellishment on there or a glaze.
check them. A few more minutes. Isn't that just amazing? This kind of stuff amazes me. And you can feel like if you are leaving your finger imprint, it's a little too sticky still, don't even try it. And it'll feel warm too because it's uh, reacting. Looks like I did miss some spots right there, but no big deal. I'll show you guys how to fill that in if it does happen. Okay, let's give it one more minute here and we'll get them peeled out. I literally started thinking, oh, while I'm filming, I'll just check my messages on the phone, but I'm filming with the phone. <laughs> um, yeah, that just happened. Nope, still a little tacky. We'll give it a minute. Really, has it been 10 minutes? I don't even think it's been 10 minutes. It just feels like a long time. Okay, now my finger's just sliding across there. It still feels warm, but not tacky. This one feels a little tacky on the end still. Should we try it? This side's tacky. Let's see, let's try it. So I'm gonna hold it right there. And I'm pushing, all I'm doing is pushing on the back with my finger. Let's see. Nope, it's still too tacky. You can tell I'm in a rush. I need, I need these. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ready? If I had time, I would definitely leave them in the mold more longer, but I don't have time. I need to get these on so they set. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now the look you get with this is completely different from the look you get with paper clay. I myself prefer the paper clay because I like the vintagey look it gives you where this I have to work a little harder to get a little vintagey look but they're still beautiful okay I gotta have one more so I'm gonna do half cups this time I think I'm gonna have some left over so I'm gonna have to use it in another mold okay so clear first clear on the left yellow on the right okay we got our milky it almost looks like cooking candy to me and now it gets milky because you're reacting and I'm gonna wait for it to get clear Okay, it's ready to go. Clear, isn't that magic? Pour this one in. I only need one more mold for my project. Okay. 
I know some days my hand is not steady enough to be pouring this. Oh, perfect. Okay, there's my last one. I'm gonna throw these away. I'll save these. You can see those three molds. I didn't use hardly any of that. Does it have little lines on the side? It doesn't. Well, two of those little tiny cups. So that's all I used. I'm gonna go ahead and run and apply these to my piece and wait for this one to cure and that's it. So if you guys got any questions on the IOD molds or the amazing casting resin or the clay, let me know, drop me a, a comment. Thanks a lot, have a great day.